Today's lesson is called, The Smaller the Dog, The Louder the Bark. Have you ever wondered what it would be like to see through people's bathing suits at the beach? No! Is, is that possible, you freak? Oops! Ah, I forgot. You're underage, aren't you? If you're curious, go ask one of your friends. Just not a girl, unless you want to get slapped. <laughs> I like how Tanaka's like, oh, you know, maybe he's into it. Maybe he should tell it to a girl. Our company ran an ad in uh, adult magazines proposing a special filter for digital cameras. Simply attach it to your camera and voila! Start peeping! Undress them with your camera's eye, it says. It's been selling like hotcakes. In fact, it's our number one seller. It's amazing how many people are stupid to actually buy something like this. Unfortunately, customers have been complaining that it doesn't work. I told my staff to just ignore them. Nowhere does it guarantee that you'll be able to see anything. What are they gonna do? Tell everyone their creepy plan didn't work out? Sorry, bucko. <laughs> you know what? Smooth move, dude. What are you gonna, are you gonna like go on your social media or tell your friends like, yeah, I bought a thing to let me see through people's bathing suits and it was false advertising. By the way, try to cut back on the donuts and cupcakes, huh? I have an idea for an ad campaign. Brother, I wish I was having some more donuts and cupcakes in my life right now. Women would go crazy over a handsome young man in swim trunks. You'd be perfect for the job. I'm on it, bro. Alright, rank four. Have you been keeping your promise? You didn't tell anyone, did you? If you go back on your word, I'll edit your face into the most obscene material I can find. We've already got Tanaka up to four. He's ranking up real quick. Oh, hey. Is this a Strega cutscene or my son? Hi. It's my son. What's up? pretty chilly tonight. Yeah, probably because you're not wearing socks. Can you believe it's already autumn? It'll be winter before you know it. You look a little tired. Did something happen? I lost a friend. Oh, you did? In this world, people die every day. Until recently, I thought that was as normal as the changing of the seasons. But now, I understand why people mourn. For the first time, I have a friend. Lately, I've been remembering things more clearly. You recall the end I've spoken of? Some were calling it the fall as well. It's drawing closer each night. Can't you feel it? You and I are like kindred spirits, so I wonder why I'm the only one who remembers. This is tearing me up. Could it be that you can't accept me for who I am? I accept you. Probably. I mean, like, listen, dude, you're a sleep paralysis demon that, like, goes into the void at will, and also my son. Like, if I haven't already denied you, then I've got, I've definitely been accepting you this whole time. Oh, what rank are you now? You were six last time I looked. Oh, now you're eight, of course. Yeah, counting is hard. I get it. I'm sorry if I wasn't making any sense today. Maybe it's the change of season. But we're still friends. That will never change. Well, I'll be going for now. Good night.
Listen, chat, we don't have to have an argument about it, but I'm just gonna let the people in chat know that those of you who are saying don't wear socks to bed are in the wrong. It gets way too cold at night for me to go to sleep if I'm not wearing socks. I like to not be freezing when trying to sleep. Midterms start next Tuesday. Math is killing me. Sine, cosine, tangent. Yep, yep. Sine, cosine, tangent. I'm not reading this. What the heck? What kind of spell are you chanting? Azrath Mentrion Zinthos. Sometimes in the summer, I take off my socks to go to bed because it's like really hot. But like 10 out of 12 months of the year, I'm wearing socks to bed, brother. I get too cold otherwise. Exams start next Tuesday, but I'd rather spend the time doing experiments. The precise moment when two chemical agents come into contact, it's so exciting. I'm sure you all find experiments more exciting than just sitting in a chair listening to me talk, right? Well, complaining about it won't do anything for us. Here's a question to get you motivated. Then, How about you, Ari Sato? Your turn to answer my question today. Which hormone is the one in your brain that provides a sense of achievement? Should be dopamine, right? I don't remember what histamine is. Melatonin? Isn't melatonin what like decides how dark your skin is? I don't know what I'm talking about. Or is that something different? Melatonin is for sleeping. That's melanin. Melanin is what decides the color of your skin. Okay. In my defense, melanin, melatonin, it's literally like a two letter difference. <laughs> what is histamine, chat? I actually like, I feel like I've heard histamine before, but I actually don't know what it is. Yeah, dopamine is one of the happy chemicals. It's like, oh, good job, here's some dopamine. But what is histamine? Because I have no idea. Histamine causes allergies, apparently. Histamine sucks! All my homies hate histamine. I've never had allergies before in my life. Anyways, dopamine is the right answer though, right? This is sleep, this is allergies, this is ha ha, I'm happy now. Suck it. It's gotta be. Correct. Well, yes, that's correct. Dopamine's an important hor hormone. Why well, can't I say hormone? <laughs> that gives us a sense of accomplishment, joy, and excitement, which drives to motivate us. However, if it's overproduced repeatedly, that can lead to addiction. It's the same as other chemicals used in experiments and many things in life. Moderation is key. Make sure you remember that. I, you need moderation for everything, even moderation, you know. Um, I thankfully do not have any allergies. My sister does, though. She complains about them a lot. Class is ended for today. Mamoru, Maiko. Oh, we can hang out with Mamoru? Perfect. I know that we can max out Maiko, but if we can hang out with Mamoru instead, we're gonna do that, because he needs more rank ups. We can rank up, or we can max out Maiko at our earliest convenience. Although I am gonna go to the shrine. Is there anyone here that like talks about sushi? There's like no one here. Is there anything for me to interact with? Cleansing area, you got any sushi? Water's so clear I can see the bottom. That doesn't really help. The sacred tree and a sign. Yeah, I don't really see how I would get sushi here to be honest. So it's probably at the strip mall then. Did you do the thousand shrine visit quest? Yes, we did that. Yeah. So you're you wouldn't be sushi. You're ramen. Sweets wouldn't be it. I don't think any of these would sell sushi specifically. It's the net cafe. No way Wild Duck Burger would have sushi. Yeah, I don't know where we're gonna find sushi, actually. Let's just hang out with Mamoru for now. Do I have a star? Oh, I am loaded on personas, I sure do. What's up, bro? Oh, it's you, you look hungry, or maybe it's just me. Yeah, dude, let's hang out. All right. Just 
One more. What are you, what are you doing? Oh, uh, eating fast is kind of my thing. If you don't eat quick at my place, my siblings will pick everything clean. <laughs> don't worry, your food's safe. Take your time. Oh, that was almost a personal best for me. Oh, get this. I've got a race lined up at another school. A coach from a big time athletic college is gonna be there. Know what that means? If I do well enough, I might score a scholarship. Dude, that would be so pog. Right? Then I could keep doing track. I'd pretty much given up on going to college. We just don't have that kind of money. And I heard about the chance for a scholarship, so you can imagine why I jumped on it, right? I'm gonna win this thing and go to college. And maybe this will make my mom's life a little easier. What a guy. What a stand-up dude. I bet it would. Yeah, you're right. It's a relief to hear you say that. I always think how different things would be if my dad were still alive. If he were here, my siblings wouldn't have to worry about whether or not they'd get to eat every day. Well, complaining won't accomplish anything. I'm just gonna have to try for that scholarship. Hayase is seriously thinking about his future. Hayase opened up to me about his problems. Easy. Is this rank four already? Yeah, okay, we're killing it. Oh, shoot, the sale on chicken is almost over and it's my turn to cook tonight. The major Saitama moment. I'll catch you later. I decided to go back to the dorm. Hello. What is this? Need something to wipe off your glasses? Oh, right, for Elizabeth. I do have something, of course, but you don't wear glasses. Well, if you're looking for a wipe for eyeglasses, I have a spare. Hang on. Here, it looks dingy, but it works very well, in fact. Glasses wipe. Oh, and here's a little something extra. Gag yeah, glasses. Shoot me into the sun. It's the secret item I was thinking of surprising Arigaki-kun with the next time I see him. Surely this will get that stoic face of his to break into laughter, or, well, that was the plan. <laughs> Why don't you take it? I'd be happy if you put it to good use. Do you have some time? I believe Kriju couldn't told you all about the tragedy of Amada Amatakun's family. It happened after defeating the irregular shadow after the dawn of the dark hour. Amada Kun probably didn't have any idea what was happening at the time. Amada Kun and Aragaki Kun, I knew what was going on between them, but I never expected it to turn into such a horrible tragedy. We shall pray for Aragaki Kun's happiness in the next world. Kormara-san says he is in good spirits. If anything, he seems to greatly respect Aragaki-san. Bow wow. <laughs> he gave his life to save another. How noble. I'd like to think that I could do the same if it came down to it. How about you? Sure, why not? <laughs> That's an interesting response, though I suppose quite admirable as well. Um... Can I help you? What's up? <laughs> Even though he was with us just a short while ago, I still can't believe we won't ever see him again. I knew there was always this risk, but... Sorry, I, I'm still a little shaken up. I can't think straight. It's fine. We're not going to go to Tartarus for like another week or two. Break. Nothing lasts forever, huh? Shinji was satisfied. He got out while he was ahead. Let him rest in peace. We should be focusing on what we need to do now. There's less than a week until midterms. I think... I said my prayers, so I'll be okay. Grieving over a death and just feeling down are two completely different emotions. So yeah, I'm okay. Nah. I know, I know. I should be studying. But I just can't concentrate. We lost so much, man. Why, Arigaki-san? Hey. Um... There's no way I can study right now, not when a close friend just died. I can't just forget about it and move on. I just can't do that. That's, that's rough, sister. There's no one to hang out with tonight. Games! Unlimited games! We'll probably go do, this is the knowledge game nights. We'll probably go do that, honestly. Marvel. Twilight Fragments. All right, I got you the glass request? wipes. Let's hear the results. Seems you've completed a request. One moment, please, while I check. So this must be the sort of thing one would use to clean a pair of eyeglasses. 
fine microfibers, maximum flexibility, absorbency, and an ideal size. It's utterly perfect. I see. It wasn't just any old rag after all. Hmm? You brought something else with you? May I see that as well? Ah, oh, shoot me into the sun. Oh my. Why would you give this to her? What elegance. Though both striking, they leave a different impression than my master. Then, let us be off. Well, what do you think? The mustache makes my nose itch a fair bit, though. Not only does it give me a semblance of intelligence, but also one of harmony as well. What a splendid item. I hate you. Take this as your reward. Five garnet. All right, all right, not bad. Right, we have to get a Siegfried with Endure. I don't think I've seen Endure on a single persona yet. So unless we get a skill card, we're gonna have to do something about that. Please Bring sushi. Persona, a pretty purple. How, am I, how the heck am I supposed to find sushi? Oh, I need to be going to, sushi right, right, right. After I school, thought. I need to go talk to the faculty office to start getting this helm done. Yeah, 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 okay, we can do that. Uh, we're just gonna go get some knowledge up at the game thing, I guess, because there's nothing else to do. We are starting to reach the point where we're gonna run out of stuff to do at night. Our social stats are almost maxed. We still have Tanaka and Mutatsu, but I mean, they're both at like three or four, so they've got a ways to go, but they're getting there. And then we're almost done doing everyone's nighttime events for characteristics. We're getting pretty close. Still not at six. Dude, I love changing seasons. What a track. Meat, meat, veggie, meat. We're probably gonna have to hang out with him like once. When are our exams? They're on like so, Tuesday. Uh, no one's talking about Aragaki-san anymore now that we have exams. I guess people just worry about their own problems, huh? Kinda sad, don't you think? That's life, baby. <sighs> Man, I was hoping Mamoru or Maiko were available. Where would I find sushi? Oh, we need to go, we need to go to the school thing. Go to the school thing, go back to the faculty office. One of those gecko dudes, yeah, Argaki, I heard he got in some kind of accident and died. Heard it happened here too. Don't care much what goes on around here, but thinking about this being the place where he was killed really creeps me out. Yo, this had nothing to do with us, got it. We weren't even here. I know how it looks to you guys on the outside, but I don't care about people if they just stay out of our faces. What is this? This is a shop bar. Okay, that has nothing to do with getting sushi. This is the where we got the mahjong piece. Hmm. Where, oh where, would I find sushi? Not at the flower shop. These are just people with apathy syndrome. Gekigen student was killed, huh? So those gangs that spot are capable of murder. It's dangerous being a station attendant here. Hello. Man, wasn't that typhoon nuts? If I if it was a disaster movie, I'd be all for seeing those destructive winds. I'd rather not experience it in person, yada yada. Yeah, I don't think it'd be around here. That Aragaki guy died at the gang spot, right? Sometimes I'll endlessly wander around there, but I should quit doing that. Yeah, honestly, dude. That guy's just the type to take a question like that seriously. I was just testing him though, but I think you'd do fine in a situation like that. It's a trick we use to get the guy closer to us. What? What's more important to you, soccer or me? A question like that? She must be unhappy with me, but why is she really? All right, that's a dick question. Well, nothing in Port Island Station. Let's go back to the faculty office. Well, faculty office. Looks like I can't get in on this side. Right, of course, this door, my bad. What? Yes, Arisato? Did you have a question about my lecture? Hmm, yes, what are you staring at? Is it my helm? Could that be it? Did they change this in reload? Is this really happening? Bo boy, oh boy, that's one discerning eye you've got there, kid. Isn't this helm great? It is, isn't it? It's a historic masterpiece Masamune had since he was young. Mr. Ono keeps going on and on with his story. So Masamune gave this helm to his vassal before he departed. Such generosity, it's as if he foresaw his fate. Sob. So and that's why I couldn't possibly part with it. I could give you something else from my personal collection, though. One with no connections to Masamune. If you still want one, well, you do, right? Come see me again and I'll let you have it. I enjoyed the tales of Masamune. I have a deeper understanding of history. Oh, okay. 
still not at six. If I come back to speak with Mr. Ono in the faculty office another day, okay, they still do it. All right. I thought that you had to talk to like every other teacher first, one each day until you saw Mr. Ono, and it looked like they were gonna cut that out, which would have been interesting. But we're probably still gonna have the same problem. Well, Chad, I guess we're gonna hang out with Nozomi for lack of options. <laughs> do I have a moon? I do not have a moon. If I'm gonna hang out with him, we may as well go all in. Wow, wow. Bow, wow, wow. 